Today we will see how to interface 7 segment display to 8051 microcontroller. Okay, so what is a 7 segment display unit? A 7 segment display is a combination of 8 LEDs. There will be 8 LEDs in our 7 segment unit. Okay, that are connected in such a way that each LED represents a particular segment of the display. So, as the name suggests, to show the number from 0 to 9, we have 7 segments. Okay, and to show the decimal point, we have the 8th one. So, in our unit, there is internally inside, there are 8 LEDs segments are named by A to B, A, B, C, D, F, G, then D, P. Okay, so A to G are the seven segments for the numbers from 0 to 9, and for the decimal point, it is marked as D, P. One side of these eight LEDs is connected to the 805 microcontroller to any of its IO port. So our microcontroller is having four ports 0, 1, 2, and 3. Any of our ports, we can connect this into uh, eight LEDs. Okay, in one side, other side, the other the LEDs got two two sides one side will be connect to the will go to the direct microcontroller and the, or remaining or second side of the my all leds are connected together and to form a common point that common point is either common cathode or a common anode okay so like that accordingly how we have the connections and say internally we have two types of seven segment display and is named as common anode seven segment display and the common cathode seven segment display so so, so we have say ca segment or a ca unit or a CC unit okay let us see what is the difference here now this is the uh, representation of the uh, seven segment uh, display unit as the name suggests inside is having seven LEDs a named a B C D E F and G and of course for the decimal point DPA dot okay so to show the number we can see different number. for example 3 by turning on a b g then c and d okay it shows nas number as 3 okay accordingly let us see what is the code for different uh, what is the led pattern for different numbers okay then so as we discussed we have common anode type and common cathode type let us see what is a common anode in the common anode type of seven segment display all anodes of the leads are joined together and it must be connected to the plus five volt or which is a play of the microcontroller or project so eight leds all positive sides will connect together okay and we'll call it as common anode all leds p side or anode sides are common that's why it's common anode and in the project we must connect that terminal to the plus five volt voltage then the cathodes of the uh, leds the remains the other side will be left free for separate connection and we must connect to the io port of the microcontroller okay an led turns on when it's forward biased it is very common knowledge uh, an led we can turn on by uh, making it forward biased and we can turn off by making it reverse bias now since the anode is connected to plus 5 voltage to make the LED forward biased the cathode should be at zero voltage so cathode should be all LEDs are ganged together like this it's connected to plus 5 voltage so to turn on this LED we must connect this point to ground so if you provide a ground to the cathode we can turn on this LEDs so we are connecting this to the port of the microcontroller say port 0 or 1 or 2 or 3 whatever it may be say we are giving logic 0 logic 0 to the uh, corresponding cathode from the microcontroller so by providing 0 we are making turn on the we are making it on so it is active load device so common anode is a active load device now internally how it is we have as the name suggests eight segments are given here seven segments here and the eight one here and all com cathodes all anodes are ganged together and is given one terminal for that for that kind of common point so this is common point and this must be connected to plus five voltage and is cathode it is having a an external connection to terminal a here so this a is nothing but this anodes cathode terminal b second point line is this anodes this diodes cathode then c is this segments cathode etc all the cathodes are giving given connection to the external uh, to uh, external units by or through these pins a to dp and internally how the leds are as we discussed all leds 
positive sides are connected together and is define our common terminal okay this is our common terminal and as a designer you must connect this to 5 voltage and this is our a terminal this is nothing but this terminal a okay so it's the uh, cathode of the terminal so from your program through any of the port if you give a zero voltage here this led will turn on okay accordingly we can show different numbers now common cathode display same configuration but here all the cathodes are connected into common as common and uh, it must be connected to the ground terminal in our project so in there it was common anode and here it is common cathode as the name suggests here all leds cathodes are grouped together and is given with one terminal for connection to the external circuit and we must tie that pin to logic zero the anode part is connected to the microcontroller IO ports. So here the anode of each terminal, say B, C, D, etc. to DP are available to the external through its corresponding pins and we can connect that pins to the microcontroller to make the corresponding LED on or off. Okay. Now, since the cathode is given with a zero polarity, the corresponding pins connected to the port, we must give a logic high. Okay. So make them uh, on we must provide a logic high so this device is active high so from our microcontroller we need to provide logic high pulses so ca common cathode display is active high unit and in our project in our interfacing unit we will be discussing the project on the basis of uh, common cathode okay and this is the internal structure of a common cathode display all negatives all insides of the diodes are grouped together and is connected to the ground terminal so this is a common terminal in our structure common terminal okay so this is what the common terminal and you connect this to zero voltage and the, the segments a's anode will be available here so a this is same a will be available for the external connection here like that up to a b c d and dp corresponding terminals are available within the display module okay now internal structure of common since we are dealing this common uh, cathode uh, display unit this is how it looks like in the physical uh, pin configuration of your device if you are supposed to do with a programming or a project then if you look at the terminal like this by the dot to the uh, your right side from the top your pin number starts this is one then two three four five then six is here six seven eight nine then ten okay so as the name as from the diagram three and eight three and eight must be the common terminal and must be connected to the zero voltage and the pin number one is the terminal for g anode terminal for g pin number two is the anode terminal for f etc pin number four is for a and the pin number 10 is for terminal E or segment E accordingly from the diagram it is very clear which pins for which segments now how it works okay let us see in detail how the uh, units we can use it to show the different numbers okay so let us check say for example if you want to show the number uh, uh, number 0 and your device is common cathode so common cathode is active high active high device so we must send a logic high so uh, the segments are marked here a b c d e f g so i will show like this decimal point eh? then the msb is our uh, g then e d c b a okay i forgot f a b c d e f here f and g if i forgot so, so a from look um, look um, look from the back a b c d e f g okay and let us check what will be the code what will be the code for the corresponding numbers i will be showing one or two codes for then if you want to show the number zero which are the leds we must turn on this led should be turned on b should be on c on d on e on f on a g is off okay this must be off for show the number zero to show the number zero how it looks like it is like this okay this is what our zero 
okay so a b c d e f g is off so to show the g in off condition dp we don't want to show the decimal point since it is a one unit unit we need to provide that pin zero and g is also zero for what you say zero number then f is one g is one d is one c a all are one so all the six series must be turned on and it must be connected like this so to show the numbers code code let us see what is the code first of all this four number is uh, three and all one this is f so the code to show the number zero is three f now i will show you what is the code for number one okay mm. Now to uh, decimal point is also zero. To show the number one, it must be B and C. So one looks like this only. Remaining all LEDs must be off. So A is off, B is on. So A is off, B is on, C also on, D is off, E is off, uh, F is off, G is off okay so the code here is this is for zero and zero one one zero is six so zero six is the code for what you say number one and it is no need to uh, explain all the bits all the numbers i will show you for uh, seven okay then seven he is seven how can you show seven by turning on a b and uh, c so seven we will turn on a then B, then C. Remaining all LEDs must be in the off condition. So A, B, and C only on. So one A is on, B is one, C is one. Remaining is zero. Okay. So the number this represents zero. This represents seven. So zero seven is the code for number seven. Accordingly, you can go for each bits, each digits, which are all the LEDs to be turned on, and accordingly you can find your own your yourself your code for that. Okay. So this is the code for what you say common mm, common cathode display unit. Okay. And if it is common anode, only the difference is it is active low. So this one become zero and zero become one. That means you just need to complement. Take this num code to your accumulator and complement it complement it for complement for uh, common anode this is for common cathode complement and uh, send to to the corresponding port for uh, corresponding port for common anode okay so the code must be the same we will keep this code as a lookup table to show the particular number on your seven segment unit let us see how the code is for different numbers okay so for simplicity i have shown here for character zero for number zero code is 3f and the leds x all leds are on for except g okay and the code is 3f and for number one only b and c is on and remaining leds must be off so the code is 06 and for two code is 5b and for three code is 4f and for four code is 66 or 66 and for 5 it is 6d and for 6 it is 7d and for 7 it is 07 and for 8 it is 7f and for 9 it is 6f so analyze this uh, table and try to make yourself these codes for your exam point of view otherwise by heart the core for corresponding digits it's in it is very compulsory it is mandatory to remember or reproduce this card for showing the particular number on your display unit okay so try well how to make this table it is very simple okay next this will be how we can use this led or seven segment unit in our project and this will be the proper or this will be the project simulation so this unit is showing the numbers from zero zero to nine after nine it is rolling back to zero two then three then four five six seven eight nine after nine it is going back to zero so we will be implementing this simple project to show the number from zero to nine on a seven segment display 
unit okay so next will be your program so this since it is a simulation i have in shown a diode a resistor here in your practical circuit a resistor is compulsory to limit the current a maximum of 10 to 15 milliampere only uh, seven segment unit is supposed to uh, deliver so we need to provide a proper resistor say one kilo ohm or uh, say 570 ohm uh, accordingly uh, how much uh, intensity you need for your display unit you can vary your resistance value i will show that resistor value while we simulate your simulate our circuit okay now let us check how we can program it so already we have the code for corresponding numbers and that we must send to port where that we connected to in our circuit okay so the port is 2 so port 2 must send with the code 3f i think 3f uh, to show the number 0 so uh the, we can send the programming uh, or a code to the corresponding ports from our accumulator so we need to start our programming or showing the number from number zero so we will begin with showing the um, what you say a number from zero for that will clear our accumulator so first instruction is clr a so initialize initialize with the zero okay then clr a then that code we can keep in our program code memory for that we will define a table for for example we will define like this origin 400 okay so i am starting i am keeping this lookup table from the location 400 0, 4, 0, 0. so origin is a org is a assembler directive it is instructing the compiler to uh, keep the numbers after this to a particular uh, uh, sorry from the location 400 so then we'll define a label here my table this is my table for my uh, codes and will define here by the uh, what you call what is uh, by the assembler directive db define byte okay then we should write like this 3f 3f code for zero okay then the second code was 06 code for one then the code is 5b 4 digit 2 then the code is 4f this is for the digit 3 then the code is 66 for digit 4 then the code is 6d for the digit 5 then code is 7d for the digit 6 then the code is 7f 70 then 0 f i'm sorry 0 f for the digit 7 then the 7 f for digit 8 then 6 f for digit 9 okay so these are the call for our uh, what you say uh, lookup table entry so it is uh, uh, instructed here uh, the codes are kept from the location 04000 so 0400 is having the code for 0 0401 is having this is location 401 is having the code for 1 402 is having the code for 2 so 2 then 2 403 is having the code 43 so if your number is 3 corresponding code is 403 then if your number is 6 corresponding code is in 406 that is a clue for getting the data from your lookup table if your number to be displayed is 8 corresponding code is in 408 and is in 407 for number 7 okay so this is the code this is the digit and this is the location and this is very uh, useful for getting back our code for corresponding number okay so next uh, our purpose is corresponding to the accumulated content we need to get back the core for so for that we can copy our uh, location 400 to dptr so the instruction to do so is move dptr comma hash my table so what will happen here my table it is from 400 so after executing this instruction what happened dptr is equal to 0400 okay now we need to get the data from the corresponding location so 400 now our accumulated content is 
zero so we need to get back the code for zero which is 3f from the location 400 so since this is the program coder program rom this data we kept we need to use the instruction mo c mo c will get the code to the accumulator to the accumulator so the uh, syntax is mo c a at a plus dptr so what the instruction is doing the content from the memory pointed by the content of accumulator and dptr sum of accumulator and dptr will copy to the accumulator so in before while executing this instruction our number that we are showing on our display is going to change so that that number you must save to some register so i am saving that number to be uh, to the register b to the the co the command the what it is doing here save number being displayed okay we need to increase to next number one for that i should get it back for that i am saving that number here after then mo ca so present the content of accumulator is, is zero dptr is 400 so 400 plus zero is 400 so from this location get the code so 400 is having the code 3f so after executing this instruction our accumulator is equal to what 3f which is the code for zero okay now this number or 3f we need to send to port 2 so move p2 comma a okay so move p2 comma a port 2 is sending with a a or oh, a is having 3f so port 2 is having our seven segment unit so this uh, uh, make the seven segment display to show the number zero on this seven segment unit okay then we need to uh, call a small delay so a call delay the delay will write at the last uh, i will not be explaining you again what is the delay and all i have already explained to you this delay so delay will write at the end so after showing the digit is zero we need to give some time to show it's uh, zero then it should increase to next number for that uh, we will provide a delay after the delay we should get back the number so number we have shown we have shown here is zero showed already here is zero next we need to get it back that is uh, b okay we get it back to a register so move a comma b call back number call back number because we have our uh, we all wrote the accumulator with the code so we need to get back number what we showed already which is zero we need to increase that number so move a comma b then to increase to next number we can use the instruction inc a so what happened a is equal to a plus one so now the present content is zero one then so what is our uh, display is do you need do, doing zero then one then etc it is going to nine after nine it should go back to zero so if we increase from nine our accumulator content will increase to zero a so once the content of accumulator is zero a what the system should do system should go back to repeat to zero so inca then cj any compare we need to check whether it is reached zero a or not cj and e compare and jump on not equal our accumulator and immediate data zero a h comma next if it is not equal to seven we need to go back to next number so where must be our next number next number is we'll call back save it back to a then present the content is one so what the location here it is one plus four hundred four hundred and one four hundred and one is having the code for one that will taken into the accumulator and we'll send into port then we'll delay then we'll uh, move a comma b we will call back that to 0 2 then increase then it become 3 again it is not equal to a it will go back to here so the next symbol label should be here move b comma a so it will continue these loops for while that time it will display the number from 0 then 1 then 2 in between every time it will call that delay once it's completed showing the number with 9 and increase to a this loop will break so it will go back to should go back to zero so s jump to say start so where must be the start it should start with it by clearing the accumulator so this must be the start 
again it will load with our my table which is 400 we have in altered our dptr anywhere on our program so we don't want to copy this again and again so you can keep this instruction at the beginning so move dptr comma hash my table so what will happen this will execute one time only so once this our program is over then there is a delay program here so there is a delay routine here we will keep some registers r0 r3 or r4 whatever it may be then at the end we'll return back so ret i don't want to explain to you again what is the delay unit here so this continue then return back okay and continue so at the end we need to keep end code also so this is what are the programming logic or programming for showing the numbers from 0 to 1 on your 7 segment display now let us uh, simulate this program okay so for that okay so we have our the program code i already wrote that same code here and i simulated here this is the delay routine r4 i am keeping r4 and r3 i am keeping the number 0 to uh, uh, ff and uh, performing approximate uh, one second delay so this proper delay of may we will study in later and this is the table and defined by the 3f to 6f the code for 0 then 1 2 3 we kept at this corresponding location i already explained to you and starting from clra move dptr comma my table then as we discussed that these instructions we can keep here also no matter uh, so then next then start so i will keep this instruction at the beginning okay otherwise what will happen every time uh, 0 to 9 it will restart with the dptr is equal to this one so we don't want we need to execute one time only okay so load this uh, seven segment register seven segment program to your resource group then save your program then compile your program then build your program so that program will be available within your uh, folder folder is experiment one it is available here as Intel x bit r0 r1 r16 bit this is the program code in the hex format we can use it in the uh, what you say isis proteus simulation okay so diagram uh, proteus also shown here our crystal uh, crystal is not shown here in your circuit you need to show that the crystal diagram also in your uh, while drawing your exam at the time of your exam you must show with uh, your crystal circuit here then uh, reset circuit also you can show then port 2 it's connected to seven segment display and each uh, is given with a resistor the current limit resistor 220 to 570 or one kilo maximum you can give here then common cathode it must be connected to the what you say mm, mm, ground terminal so this is the code for this is the digits for uh, sorry segment a first pin is for segment a then b then c then d e f then g okay correspondingly pins also connected to the corresponding ports and that program we need to load here so program location is uh, at the location experiment one objects then r0 r1 r16 bit this is the uh, name of the program code that we gave at the beginning okay so that you need to open it then accept it okay so that program is available here then you simulate you will can see mm, it is showing the numbers from 0 to 9 after 9 it is returning back to 0 okay so this is the uh, how, this is the way how we can simulate that program what we studied here with the help of the proteus uh, simulation circuit okay hope you understood this how to show the numbers or how to interface a seven segment display unit to the 8051 microcontroller let us see
now same you can ask you may be asked you to, you to connect one more seven segment unit to display the numbers from 0 to 99 so any number of units we can connect to the 805 when you can interface to the 805 one microcontroller either you can connect that second unit to the second port so in that way you can connect a maximum four units only but it is not a good practice to connect all to all uh, different uh, ports of the microcontroller instead we will connect all the registers all the seven segment units to port uh, 2 and we'll use the concept of multiplexing uh, uh, to show the number so all the uh, segments will connect to same low, you, what you say same uh, port and we'll use use some programming technique to show the numbers on proper LED unit let us see how we can unit how we can implement so the how we can use how we can program our microcontroller to show the number uh, 0 to 99 on our uh, two segment uh, display okay so program will be the same as we uh, wrote there also with a little modification i will show you instead of uh, we will use the concept i will explain at the time of programming so our programming starts with uh, clearing the accumulator okay so program is origin is having from what you say org zero zero i will not be explaining much in this then move dptr comma hash my table or you can give harsh 400 also then uh, we will clear our accumulator CLRA then we will save that number to more register R7 here I am using register R7 instead of register B so CLRA saving that number save number to number to R7 then I will use register B to copy the number 0a I will I will tell you for what I am using this okay then div ab okay so the concept is if the number is uh, 13 I need to get the number 1 and 3 1 I should show on the tens place uh, segment and the 3 I should show on the ones place okay so to separate the number if it is a decimal number what how we can take we can divide the number 13 but the 10 so it will come with a quotient of 1 and remainder of 3 so remainder we can keep at the uh, place of units num uh, uh, segment and uh, quotient we can keep at the uh, what you say uh, tens place same concept is using here so hence uh, the uh, microcontroller is following hexadecimal number system so I cannot keep with a 1 0 instead 0 um, what you say 0 a is the corresponding number for our uh, Mm, 10 so instead of uh, dividing with one zero we will divide the number with the zero a and get the quotient and the remainder quotient will show on the first uh, segment and the remainder will keep so division concept is uh, after dividing the accumulator content with the uh, 10 or zero a accumulator is having the quotient and B will be having the remainder so first we will take the accumulator content then the uh, code uh, my table entry also also uh, as in the previous case origin then we have the 400 here then my table here then define byte so and so I am not going to explain you all these cases here then end so the corresponding codes we need to take so first now what is having within the accumulator is our quotient or the tens place so we will send that number to uh, corresponding port for that code we need to get it. so move c a comma at a plus dptr okay so whatever be the number at the corres accumulator corresponding code will come to the accumulator register then here we will use port uh, 2 for connecting the segment 
then port 1.0 and port 1.1 we will use to multiplex when we multi when we write data to the uh, uh, tens place we will uh, make this as low 1.0 as low otherwise uh, and this as high when we are writing it to seven segment unit second segment unit we will keep this as low and this as high i will show you then uh, uh, yeah it is not port 1 port 0 okay port 1 also point 0 we can use no matter now the concept is uh, clr p 0, 0.0 then sctb p 0, 0.1 so 0, 0.0 only keeping low so the common terminal of our seven segment will connect to the port 0 pin of the uh, first line of the port 0 so this pin is going low this pin is going high so seven segments second unit will be uh, disabled because of this sctb p 0, 0.1 and this will be enabled whatever be the content of port 2 will be get displayed on first segment this is for first seven uh, seven segment and this is for second seven segment okay L let us see in detail and now we need to send this data to the port so port used here is move port 2 comma a so code is there in the accumulator that will send to our port 2 then we will call a delay a call delay then what we will do uh, we need to get back that number to the uh, remainder so remainder is in register b so move a comma b so this is the uh, remainder or the second digit okay the corresponding number we need to get back to the accumulator so instruction is move c a comma at a plus dptr so the code is now available there then which place we need to display so sctb p 0, 0.0 this code now is for the second place so first segment should be disabled and clr p 0 0.1 second segment is enabled then what we'll say we'll call the delay again a call delay then i will be writing the remaining code here okay after we call the delay we need to get back the data move a comma r7 we need to increase it <coughs> inca i'm sorry inca then we need to reach we need to check whether it is reached at the 99 99 is corresponding to 63 in hexadecimal so c j n e a comma hash 63 h comma next so next where it should be our next move r7 r7 comma a so here is the label next so it will save back again then we'll divide with the 10 then accumulator and b is having the quotient and the remainder and we will display them on the uh, correspond proper uh, display unit then we'll return back once we reached 99 we need to use the jump instruction to start again s jump start so where must be our start start must be at uh, CLRA so this is our start label okay then as usual there will be a delay subroutine I'm not going to explain you delayed and the uh, details and everything on then last there must be a return instruction then at the end of the code there must be an end label this is what how we do the programming and let us say even though you need to check it again from the video I haven't explained much because the same concept is here only the difference is we need to separate the numbers once and uh, tens place digits for that we have used uh, a div instruction here division instruction is used here while dividing accumulator is having the quotient and the remainder is in the b register okay that concept then quotient is displaced quotient is displaced at the first segment for that we clear p0.0 .0. so the common terminal of the two segments must be connected to the first line of your uh, what you say port 0 and second line of your port 0 respectively let us check how it is okay before that 
so applications so, so i will conclude here applications of these units applications the seven segments are widely used in digital clocks we have seen different clocks digital clocks and uh, uh, to show the numbers okay different uh, applications are there or used in electronic meters to show the numbers used in instrument panels used in digital readout displays and limitations the complexity is increased to display large information so uh, one or two digits only we can display with the proper uh, with our simple circuit if you are if you need to increase the number of segments then complexity and the programming complication also will increase then it is no, not possible to display the some symbols so for example if you want to show then any symbols like uh, an arrow and all it is not possible with the seven segment display okay so that's all about our uh, now how we can program it for uh, two units uh, let us check and simulate okay so the i wrote that program already here say seven segment cascade i need to remove the program okay and then i need to add seven segment cascade to our project okay so now this program is available already i wrote there i have written that code also here this is our delay subroutine okay then 400 we have the code for different digits and as usual program is starting from odptr comma uh, my table then clra r7 comma a etc 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 everything already we discussed then we will save the program translate then compile okay check for error no errors and the program hex file is in r0 r1 r16 bit this is the name of the file that we used in our uh, um, what you say keel microvision then we need to go back to our uh, simulation so the this is the uh, case of a, a single seven segment i have already drew the circuit then Found uh, 0 to 7, 0 to 9. That's enough. Okay, now counter using 7 segment. Yes, here is the circuit arrangement. Um, sorry, here I have connected the 7 segment to port 1. So in our program, we should send the data yeah port one only but i have explained to you the program as if i am sending the code to port two but here in program i have connected by mistake i have connected the program connected the seven segment to port one and since and then i have used that p1 in the program also so don't worry it, it will work and here the difference here is this is the tens place tens place is controlled from port 0.0, .0 okay then one's place is controlled from this is the one's place so zero 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 one zero two like that it is going so this is one's place is controlled from our uh, what you say p0.1 so if you want to display number over once a uh, tens place we must clear p0.0 and we must uh, make active high at p0.1 then same when you outing the code for one's place you must set bit or we must make p0.0 high and p0.1 low okay let us check so program we need to copy here so the program is already we explained it is in experiment number one in objects r0 r1 r16 but this is the program coding and uh, connection also given here so here i have used the seven segment with the decimal point also so decimal point is i have connected here to port uh, 1.7 i have used that line as zero so if you want to make any one bit as one or decimal point to be enabled for example to be enabled here at the same when you clear when we clear 0, 0.0 you must send one here so this dot will be displayed so in our project i haven't used that pin so uh, it is uh, use as a symbol uh, dummy point only okay let us simulate and check what is the result 0 0 1 0 2 0 3 0 4 0 5 0 6 0 7 0 8 0 9 10
then 10 going to 11 12 13 okay so now here you are able you will be seeing one of the disadvantage or uh, it is not looking that good because we have display uh, we are displaying the number uh, every time uh, uh, what you say in one second only approximate one second only because of that one second while i am writing the data here i am disabling this uh, tense place that's why i'm uh, uh, we are seeing here a blinking effect this is because of the persistence of vision so how we can solve the persistence of vision problem if you send your program code by writing the code two three times uh by by what by by with some little modification to this program we can uh, we can what you say we can overcome this disadvantage so i will tell you what to do here uh, uh, what you say uh, uh, call this unit the display this unit okay uh, two or three times or four times uh, in your program call this unit until uh, within one second so before making this to making a transaction to the next uh, we must uh, use uh, a register say r4 or r or r7 uh, sorry r is r7 used or r6 load with the six or four then uh, decriminant jumbo non zero to here D O A B move B comma uh, A B D move B comma A uh, to this point uh, so that uh, this unit will be uh, executed two or three times or four times before it jump to next. So that problem of uh, persistence of visions will be overcome here, and we can see a uh, what you say without this blinking effect. You can see I am giving you this as an uh, uh, challenge to you. You can try to uh, solve this uh, what you say uh, this persistence of vision issue by a by uh, the loop by making a loop over here by making a loop over here calling these uh, these many instruction these many instruction before increasing these many instruction four times or five times okay so that and the delay also you need to reduce okay so within one second we will call these ones place and tens place four times or five times so that persistence of vision problem will be solved okay so you try it yourself and uh, check whether any uh, what you say persistence of vision is existing or not so let us check after 99 whether it is coming back or not then we will conclude our class so 81 82 84 85 86 87 88 94 95 96 97 98 99 yeah it is going to 00 then 01 and they're starting it again so hope you understood how can you def how can you design a project to show different uh, number based problems so, so in your exam some pro pattern some numbers uh, patterns or some different uh, for example up down counter up down uh, i will also give you clue here up down counter you can configure you can connect two switch here and one you press it should increase to one so automatically instead of increasing for with uh, any delay you can make it to increase or decrease your count inca or a DCEA instruction you can use according to which switch is being pressed so that increasing or decreasing once you press p2.0 switch increase and the p2.1 switch if you if you press it will decrease so you can you do yourself and at the exam we, you may be asked to define to design a project to uh, to, to, to make a what you call a down counter with the two switches and two seven segment units okay these projects you can try yourself Okay.